morning children today we are going to learn about friction and gravity Today, we are going to learn how the friction and gravity affect the movements of different objects. Let us know first what is force. A force is a push or pull that causes an object to move faster or slower, stop, change direction, or change size or shape. So that is how we push and how we pull. Let me see if you have a prior knowledge about our topic. Observe the images and choose what kind of force is acting on it. So identify whether it is gravity or friction. So let's have the first image. So what force is acting on that? Right, that is gravity. How about the second one? Very good, that is friction. How about the third one? Awesome, that's gravity. Next, great, that is friction. And the last one, Excellent. So that is friction. Gravity. A type of force that pulls everything down to the ground. You can see it, but it keeps you on earth. It acts like a magnet pulling objects together. For example, there is a gravitational pull between the sun and the moon. Another example, there is a gravitational force to every other object. So why does an apple fall from a tree? The apple falls because it is more attracted to the earth than it is to the tree. So in other words, the apple is more attracted to the earth than the apple tree because the earth is more massive than the tree. So that means more gravitational force pulling. What will happen if there is no gravity? Without gravity, humans and other objects would become weightless. That's because the planet would continue spinning without exerting gravity to keep objects tied to it. A loss of gravity would also mean that the planet would stop pulling down air, water, and Earth's atmosphere. What is friction? Friction is a force that resists the motion of one object against another. It is always opposite to the direction of the motion. It slows a moving object down. What are the usefulness or importance of friction? Friction enables us to walk without slipping. It enables a car to move on the road without skidding. It enables us to apply brakes and slow down or stop a moving car. It enables us to write and draw on paper. And it enables us to pick up and hold things in our hands.
what are the ways of reducing friction? So that means, children, less friction. So you can make the surfaces a little smoother. Lubrication is another way to make a surface smoother. Make the object more streamlined. Reduce the normal force acting between the surfaces in contact. And reduce the contact between the surfaces so that less number of bonds will be formed. How can we increase friction? So that means we're making it to have more friction children. So you may use grip, increase the surface area, rough the surface, remove the lubricants, and increase mass. There are four types of friction. First is what we call static friction. So the friction acting on stationary objects or at rest. Examples, book sitting on desk and flower base on the table. So take note children that when we say static friction, the force acting on the object is balanced. That's why there is no movement or motion. The second type is what we call sliding friction. So that is a friction acting on objects sliding over a surface. Example, pushing a box and running. Third type is what we call rolling friction. So that is a friction acting on objects that are rolling. Example, car tired and moving bicycle. The four types of friction is what we call fluid friction. So that is a friction acting on objects going through a fluid. So when we say fluid, we are referring to liquid or gas or water or air. So examples, we have swimming and flying a kite. So take note children that any objects moving through the air or through the water, so they have what we call fluid friction. So let's summarize our lesson. So gravity is a force that pulls everything down to the ground. Friction is a force that resists the motion of one object against another. It is always opposite to the direction of the motion and it slows a moving object down. There are four types of friction. They are static friction, sliding friction, rolling friction, and fluid friction. So let me see how much have you learned. Identify whether the following statement is true or false. Number one, gravity makes everything fall onto ground. Number two, friction opposes motion. Three, walking is an example of sliding friction. Four, a moving train shows a fluid friction. And five, an example of static friction is a glass on the table. So let's check. What is the answer in number one? Okay, true. Number two, true, three, true, four, false. And number five, true. So, did you get the correct answer, children? Great! Thank you for watching. See you next time.